Hi, so in the previous video we've taken a look at the project structure, we've collected some information from our template, and now it's time that we create our virtual environment. So I'm going to open terminal, and I need to navigate the folder where I put my project, so I'm going to say CD desktop, then tutorials, sorry, dev tutorials. So now I have those projects, so I'm going to create a new virtual environment in here, so I'm going to say virtual env-b, which extends for uh, the Python version, so I'm going to say Python 3.7, and we're going to call this as imdb clone, just like this. So now we will have a virtual environment, a Python 3.7 virtual environment called imdb clone. So let's open our our project, so on desktop, dev tutorials, and we have IMDB Claw. So, and this is our virtual environment. This is also. So let's keep it in like this. Yeah. And now we have our virtual environment. So let's open it. CD IMDB Claw. Let's clear the screen. And now we need to activate our virtual environment. So I'm going to say source, then activate. So if you are using Windows, uh, this commands may be a little, th there is may be a little different between the two commands, between the operating system, the Windows operating system and the Mac or Linux. So if you are using Windows, you're going to find a link in the description notes, which teaches you how to do it in Windows. And in Linux and Mac, it's almost the same. So if you're running, running Linux, you're going to do the same as I'm doing right here. Okay. So now we've activated our virtual environment. We have IMDB clone. This is awesome. So now let's create MK there, a folder with the name of our source file. So I'm going to call it SRC. So this is SRC. This is our SRC folder. This is awesome. So now we need to create our project in this SRC folder. So first I'm going to say, so first we need to install Django. So we're going to say pip install Django. So this will install the Django, the BYTZ, and the SQL Porsche. As we can see, the SQL Porsche, BYTZ, and Django. We've successfully installed them. OK, so now if you type pip freeze, we're going to see that we have Django, BYTZ, and SQL Bush. This is awesome. So let's clear the screen. And now we have Django. We need to create our project. So in all of my projects in real life, I call my projects and fight inside the, the virtual environment. I call it with the name of project. So we can call it a project. We can call it IMDB or whatever. So in my real projects, I call the virtual environment with this name, IMDB, the name of the project, as we did. But inside, I call the project with the name of project. This helps me. This helps me like move one application from one project to another. Okay. So first, I'm gonna create a project. So we're gonna say Django admin store project. So we can call this project movies. We can call it IMDb or whatever. So we're gonna call it IMDb. And let's hit enter. So we're going to face a simple issue, actually. Sorry, we did not enter to onto SRC. Yeah, so let's delete this. So first we need to move to SRC, and we need to execute our command again. OK. So now, if we open SRC, we're going to find another folder. And if we open this folder, we're going to find our projects. I don't want this, actually. I want those files to be in the SRC. So let's let this also. And let's execute the same command, but we're going to add the dot at the end. So let's hit enter. So we're going to find that we have our files inside the SRC folder. OK. So now we have our project. So let's run our server. But so manage the by run server. So now the first thing we're going to notice that the Django creates a db.sqlite server database because this is the first time to run the server. This is the default database, and we have 17 and applied migrations. And the Django tells us that if we need to apply, if we, or if we want to apply those migrations, we have to run by some manage to by migrate. Okay, so now let's take a look at our local host. 
and sorry this is and here we are so now we have Django successfully installed this is the recommendation this is the polling app assemble tutorial to follow if you are a beginner to Django and this is the Django community this is us so now we have those unapplied migrations we have this database SQL lights reader database and we've just created our project so now everything is working fine we just need to apply those migrations and create a sub user so let's do it let's say bison manage the by and just lay this command migrate so this will apply the migrations to our database if you don't know what is a migration and what is applying those migrations don't worry we can explain it in details so this will create the the basic tables in our database so now let's run our server we won't find the hint again like this like this note so now let's open the admin so we need to navigate to the admin so we're gonna say slash admin we're gonna see that Django asks us for username and the password although we did not add a username or password so Django by default asks us for username and password to enable you to create a super user so we need to create a super user so I'm gonna say Bison manage to by create super user as one word no spaces so now Django will ask us for the username I'm gonna add admin the email address I'm gonna add my email address the password so I'm gonna add a default password the password again so this password is too common I'm gonna hit yes and we've created the super user so now let's run our server and let's open the admin let's here we are so now we have Django administration we have by default the Django admin enable us to add users and the groups so if we open users so we're gonna see the user that I've just added admin this is my gmail and I must have status because I am a super user okay and then we have the groups if you want to create a group apply some permissions add a user to this group and so on can log in can edit and so on okay this is awesome so now we've just created our project we've moved to the Django admin we've created our super user and everything is working fine we just need to start adding our app to the movies start designing our models and so on and we're gonna do this but in the next lecture see you next lecture